Hi everyone, Emma here. I'm so excited to show you this beautiful bracelet that I made. So I've been making this over the last couple of days. It's taken me a bit longer to make than normal um, just because uh, I haven't been feeling well and I'm super amazed at when you're not feeling well how many mistakes you make. So let's take a look at what I have. So I have this lovely little penguin design and uh, snowflakes on either side and this snowflake design is this here. I made a big big one on um, with eight, uh, 8 beads so you could see what it looks like. I absolutely love this snowflake design. If people are interested I'll do up a sheet like I did on the last one. This was the, the last one I did up the sheet um, for it. And this is what that one looks like. Um, but I feel like something is missing in this one. And uh, let me show you. I did a smaller version. So I did the 11-0 um, size. And like, why is there no light on? <laughs> so this is the 11 size of this one here. So you get an idea of what it's like. Um, so yeah, these are beautiful. These are actually, all of these designs are for knitting and crocheting. So I had no idea. I was going to cro come, trying to find loom designs that I could convert into square stitch. And um, I came across what they call alpha designs. And they're meant to be repeated on like... Um, the bottom of a sweater or uh, around the sleeve or around a toque that kind of thing so um, this one here like I said I feel like it's missing something and I think what I'd like to do and I'll try that and, and keep you updated on it is maybe some sort of drop shadow or like a echo of the same pattern but with a lighter color or a different color and to give it dimension um, I, you know, it's unfortunate, like it looks great on, on the white background of the white beads, but I felt like on this, it kind of disappeared, but it has this weird effect where these, both the beads that I use, so I use these gray beads and I'll have to look up where I bought these and what the color is, um, I think they are Czech 110 light gray transparent with white luster on top. Don't quote me on that. But anyway, and then these are just straight up metallic blue. I think they call, I think they're turquoise. They look kind of blue on the camera. They're tur turquoise when I, when you see them. Um... So yeah, I was super surprised at the effect that it gave. Um, let me see if I bring it up to the light. It's so cool that the light kind of shines through these there. So you can see it better with, because of course these are transparent. So super cool. Anyway, <laughs> just showing off the fun things I'm doing. So these beads here, this is something I wanted to show you. Somebody had mentioned to me when they saw my, um, this, this design here, they said you should um, put like embellishment on the edges, like fringe beads or drop beads. And it just happened I had placed an order for these drop beads. So let's take a look at them. They are amazing. I think they are eight O's. So they're quite big, but if you look at them, the one edge is small and the other side is fat. So that's like the drop X aspect of it. They, they look like tiny little earrings, you know, the hoop earrings you wear. They're so gorgeous. So I have a bunch, I got like white, I got these at, um, they're 80 silver fringe drop at the, northern bead shop i think it's called oh i can never remember that name 
anyway, um, they have lots of different colors and stuff. So this is, ah. so it is a bit wide. It's definitely a cuff, but look, <laughs> it's not hilarious. I told Jen when I finished it. Okay, so here's the deal. I have to tell you. When I show Jen designs that I make, she says, oh, that's nice. You know what that means. She's she's being polite. When I showed her this one, she said, that's wonderful. Right away, I said to her, oh my gosh, I got a wonderful out of you. So... Anyway, this is what it looks like. So I told her that I'm going to wear this all over the place. It's so adorable. So let's go ahead and put a clasp on it. So if there's any things that you see that I show you in these reveals, let me know if you're interested and I'll do a video. Um, this took a long time. Be here's the thing. The reason it takes a long time is... I saw a picture and I figured out where to put things through the picture as well as the beads. So I definitely prefer to do up a sheet like this and then you can just follow the design that way. Now it is pretty simple. Most of these designs, one side is the same as the other side. So then once you get your midpoint, you pretty well know it's the same for this, the little penguin pretty well knew that, okay, my necks for his beak on the other side of this pointy part, I'm going to put three beads there because there's three beads there. I'm going to put one there because there's one there, that kind of thing. So, yeah, that turned out. So we're going to just, I rarely use these tube findings, but you know what? They, they work lovely. So why, you know, mess with what wor works? So I'm just going to, that's how, now I did widen that and I'm just going to close this down. Let's see if I can get that all the way that's how simple that is we'll put the other side on it was so much fun making this this it tr truly reminds me of making a sweater in the sense that you're you know doing it while watching tv and just like the stitches become very repetitive and mesmerizing <laughs> relaxing yeah there this is lovely and I've got I'm gonna put an extender chain there is a bit of a, a gap of about this much from my um, wrist let's take a look that's not too bad. I could probably use a magnetic clasp, but you know what? I would be worried that it would fall off when I'm taking my jacket off and stuff like that. So we're going to put a proper clasp on this. So I decided to do an extender chain because you know what? This is one of these designs that I did that I'm like, this I'm not giving away. I just love it. And I'm I'm flipping side to side, so actually there's one thread that went awry, and I was like, oh, nobody's going to notice that. Of course I see it on the camera. I feel like there's a front and a back to this. I don't know. There really isn't. There really isn't. Okay, so let's get this attached here. So yeah, extender chain, in case I do get generous. And you know what? I do. I'm the worst. I give away my stuff all the time. I'm like a little kid. Somebody said, that's nice. I'm like, here, it's yours. Yeah, you know what? I think we need another jump ring for that. And let's just hook this in here. There. That's lovely. Yeah, I think we need, and I'll tell you why, because I feel like 
it's hard to grab a hold of this clasp when it's like right up against something. So let's get another jump ring. I'll just put the same size, I think. These are, I think, five millimeter jump rings and 18 gauge. I usually use 18 gauge. This is actually a seven. Huh. I didn't put my labels on. Okay, open that up. These are beautiful silver plated class. I buy them like when they're on sale and stuff and then I never put them on stuff. Oh look, I closed it without attaching it. She told me. I can hear you <laughs> saying Emma, you forgot to put it on. There we go. Our lovely little penguin. And there is this lovely bracelet. My new faves. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.